Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Owl's Nest. Uh, my name is Jimmy. I'm here with Julie, who introduced herself. Hi, everyone. I'm back. My name's Julie, student outreach ambassador like Jimmy, and I'm a second year math major at Foothill. Yes, thank you, Julie. And today we have a special guest representing the adult education program. We have Miss Janie Garcia. Please introduce yourself. Hello, everybody. Uh, yes, I am the adult program or education program coordinator in the outreach team. Um, so I work specifically with students who are coming to Foothill College from the adult schools in the area or beyond. Um, but I also support adult learners who are just basically anybody not coming to Foothill College directly out of high school. Thank you for having me. Okay, Janie, so we're just gonna get started. So we're very, very excited to have you here. First, we wanna talk about the program. So give us a little bit of a glimpse into adult education. Who is it for and how can students get involved? Absolutely, so for those who don't know, um, the California adult education system is, is usually operated out of high school districts. So in the local area for Foothill, um, the three adult schools that we are connected to are Mountain View Los Altos Adult School, Fremont Union High School Districts Adult School, as well as Palo Alto uh, Unified School Districts Adult School. Um, so for the last probably like eight years, um, California has been supporting both financially and through, through very organized work, um, helping adult school students matriculate to community college and or um, get gainful employment. You know, we live in a very expensive society. And so, especially in this area. And so we just know that unless somebody has, you know, gainful employment and or higher education, there really is a cap on how much money you can end up making to sustain you and your family. And so that's where I got involved. I used to work at uh, MBLA Adult School. And so I started working in this initiative to help our students, you know, pursue higher education. Um, and that's where essentially Foothill created this position for that work to continue on this campus. And I was lucky enough to kind of jump over to the other side um, of things. Really what we're looking at are students coming from any of the adult school programs. Um, the most popular adult school programs are ESL, um, high school diploma or equivalency, most popularly GED. They also have CTE classes like we do, um, where students are doing career training. Um, and then just other various classes. I mean, you can take a yoga class through adult school or ceramics, or you know, there's uh, computer classes for senior citizens. Like there's a lot of different opportunities at the adult school. Um, and, and really, this is an opportunity for if, let's say, the learning reaches its max at the adult school, students are able to continue at community college. And what I have noticed working on this side of things, and I think this is true for all students, not just adult learners, um, is that people don't really know what Foothill College can offer them right? They may learn about one specific program, like I took ESL classes at the adult school, now I want to take ESL classes at Foothill College. I like students to just know that there are many more opportunities. Doesn't mean you have to get involved, doesn't mean you have to, you know, earn a certificate or a degree after you take your ESL classes, but I just want students to know what's available to them. And so that really has been, I guess, the focus of me working on this side is making sure that any student who's not coming directly from high school, but especially students coming from the adult schools, just are aware of, of what Foothill College can do for them. Um, we are a community college, and I think it's just a very important part of our community to serve. And as you guys know, this is a hard process. Like coming to college is not easy. You know, whether you're a first generation student or not, I get emails all the time of, from, you know, people with PhDs saying, is it okay if I just take one class at Foothill? And I'm like, the fact that people don't know that is important to remember, right? Sorry, I could go all day about this. <laughs> so I'll stop in case you have other questions. I love it. We definitely see your passion through and it's, you know, it's just so vibrant. I love it. One more question I would have for you too. So what are the benefits that a student will get if they join the adult education program? So will they get like a designated counselor or any key benefits you would want to highlight? 
Absolutely. Um, we don't, you know, make it mandatory for students to go to a counselor or go to a specific counselor. However, um, a counselor we have on campus, uh, Maritza Jackson Sandoval, is amazing. And I often send students directly to her for multiple reasons, but but mostly because she has adult education experience uh, in her in her career. Um, so definitely you get people you get connected to people, whether it's me, Maritza, or more, um, who understand an adult school student or understand an adult learner. Um, also, just part of outreach, is, and this is for every student, but I specifically work with adult school students, we really help you through the process. Like I said, it's a challenging process to apply, to register, various things can happen, you know, to make something go wrong in that process, and unfortunately, and so that's really why we're here to help. Um, the other thing, too, is just, you know, like I said, exposure, you know, being being in that part of the community is so important because adult school students have friends, they have family, they have neighbors, right? And so we really just want to be a point of connection uh, for those those students and beyond. Of course. Oh my God. Thank you. That sounds incredible. Um, I think one question I have for you is what do you enjoy about the work that you do and what's your favorite thing so far about your experience in adult learning? Oh, wow. That's don't make me cry, Jimmy. Um, you know, honestly, um, it's, it's, definitely being helpful, like helping people. I, I, can, I would ruin the quote, but Ruth Bader Ginsburg had a really good quote about the importance of being a good community member and it is how you how you treat people around you and and i've always really felt that way in terms of how to be important like i was a type a probably annoying kid who just wanted to help too much so it's nice i get paid to you know flex that part of my personality um so yes the helping people as cheesy as that sounds but the gratitude adult school students adult learners specifically who are really scared of, of either changing a career or starting a new experience um, are just so darn appreciative of the help. And I get the most beautiful, you know, words said to me or emails sent to me where you just feel like you made a difference, even if, even if a small difference in that person's day or that person's life. And to me, like, when, you know, work always gets hard, right? It will for everybody. That's why they call it work. <laughs> um, but for me, those are little reminders of, yep, this is why I'm doing this. This is why I go through the hard days. This is why, you know, I, I really bust my booty <laughs> to work, you know, hard and help people. It's because that feeling is so good. It's so good. Awesome question. Thank you for that. <laughs> and um, I think our, my last question that I have um, for you is, what are any tips that you have for any prospective adult learners or do you have any encouraging words at all? Um, ask for help, you know, I feel like, so, I mean, I'm, I'm a Latina, so I feel like, you know, it's it's very ingrained in a lot of our culture to, to not ask for help or, or to look at charity in a different way. Um, and so I, that's my biggest thing is, is ask for help. It's not because your language development isn't good enough. It's not because, you know, um, you're not as educated as other people. Like there's nothing about you that makes asking for help a bad thing. Everybody needs help. I used to tell my students, even Beyonce needs help. And if, if anybody tells you she doesn't, they're lying because I don't care how amazing you are. Beyonce needs help too, you know? Um, and so that that's really just it, to reach out. Um, I, I love when a student is persistent. That is never a bad thing. Bug me, call me ask me a million and one questions. Like, that's what I'm here for. Um, and really just to, just, just to be brave and be open-minded. Um, because like I said, you may think you know what your goal is or, or, or that you only want to do, you know, ESL classes or you only want to do art classes, um, but you never know. And, and I think that it's important to kind of let yourself explore, even if all you do is confirm that all you wanted to do was ESL or art classes. You know what I mean? Even if you just confirm that that's the right plan for you, it's worth taking the extra steps to do that. Wow. I love it, Janie. You spread so much knowledge and wisdom. I loved it. And, you know, I think especially during, you know, these hard times during the pandemic, a lot of, you know, um, 
adults who are going back to school to get a certificate or maybe they got laid off from their job they need to get a certificate for another job so it's a great opportunity for everyone to take advantage of and if you guys are interested and in, you know joining the adult education please please visit our website foothill.edu and then that way we can connect you with the best people as well Yep. And just to plug it, you can even do foothill.edu slash adult learners. And that's how you'll get all my contact information. Yay. Perfect. Alrighty, everyone. That is going to be today's episode of the Owl Nest. If you guys have any questions for us or our wonderful guest star, Janie, please comment it down below and comment down what kind of videos you guys want to see next. Any more guest stars you have in mind, and we will see you guys next week. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you.